Hi, in this clip we will use the linearity of expectation to compute the expected number of empty bins. Okay, so recall from the previous segment, we in our experiment we throw n balls into n bins independently at random. Our goal is to be able to compute the expected value of random variable x, which is the number of empty bins. And we'll use linearity of expectation, which says that if you have two random variables, uh, the expected value of the sum equals the sums of the expectation. So this allows us to uh, decompose random variables okay, uh, into smaller ones and deal with each of the smaller ones individually. Okay, so let's try to break, break uh, expected value of x into smaller random variable. Okay, so basically, uh, what is expected value of x? So basically, what is what is x? So x is basically the number, right? The number of empty bins. Number of empty bins. But if you think carefully, uh, when we talk about the empty bins, so if you look at these pictures, which are, which of these are empty bins? So this, these are empty bins, right? This one and this one. And we can think of x as the, uh, if we assign the value for, on any bin, if it's not empty, we assign the value 0, 0, 0, and 1 on the empty ones. Uh, 0, 0, and 1, and you take the sum of these, you get, if you add them all up, and you get the number of empty bins as well, right? So, this motivates us to uh, define a random variables that deal with each individual with bin, right? So, we, we're going to say that for bin i, we define this random variable xi okay, to be equal to 1 if bin i is empty okay, and 0 in otherwise otherwise okay alright so with th this, these are the indicate. This this is what we call indicator random variables. It's indicator because it e it is either one or zero, and it indicates that some fact is true. Okay. So now we can look at the expected value of x i. Okay. So what is the expected value of x i? So recall that x i equals 1 bin i is empty 0 otherwise so let's try to compute the expected value of xi okay um, we're going to use the the definition of the expected value right but xi only takes two value right so it's 1 times probability that x i is equal to zero or zero plus one times the probability that x i equals one. Okay? And this is zero, right? So it's just this probability x i equals one. And when is x i equals one? That's exactly the probability that bin i is empty, right? And this is what we already computed last time so this is p of e i right if you remember okay we compute p of e1 and p of e2 right so this is basically 1 minus 1 over n to the n if you recall from the last time all right now we have we know the expected value of xi okay and now we want to compute the expected value of x all right so what what do we know about x? Okay, we know that x is the number of empty bins, right? But from from previous discussion, we we know that 
The number of empty bin is just the sum of the indicator's random variables, right? If bin 1 is empty, this is 1. If bin 2 is empty, this is, is 1. So if you sum them up, if you sum all this indicator random variable up, up to xn, you get this to be x, the, the number of empty bins, right? Recall this picture from the previous slides, right? Okay, if this is empty, put 1, non empty, 0, 0, 1. So if you have some non empty bins, you put 0, empty, put 1. And if you sum them up, you get the number of empty bins, right? So this is just this. So we know that the random variable x equals... So if it, we run the experiment, look at each, the value of these random variables, sum them up, it's x, right? So the expected value, because it's equal, right? Therefore, the expected value of x equals the expected value of this sum. up to xn right so how are we going to be able to compute this so does this look familiar so if we use linearity of expectation with linearity of expectation we can say that this equals Okay, the expectation of the sum equal the sum of the expectation. Right. And that's, and these expectations we have already computed. This, right? Therefore, how many of them? Each of them are, each of them is this value. So there are n of them. So this is n times... 1 minus 1 over n to the n. So that's the value of ex the expectation. And this term, okay, so this term, 1 minus uh, 1 over n to the n, this is getting close to 1 over e as n grows large. So this becomes n over e, close to n to over e. And n over e, this is like roughly like 60% of n. Okay, so that's that's the expected, uh, no, not 60%, uh, roughly 30% uh, of n. Okay, so this is the, the expected value, value of the number of the empty bins. Okay, so from this example, we can see that um, expectations are easier to do with than probabilities because probabilities, you have... For probabilities, you have independent, you have a lot of dependence, but expectation works no matter like whatever happens with the variables. Uh, they are dependent, independent. They are yeah, the the expectation, the linearity of expectation works always. All right. So um, that's it. And the question of this segment is that uh, if we change our experiment a little bit, so instead of throwing in balls. So we throw m balls. So what's the expected num number of empty bins? Okay, so I'll see you next. Bye.